All right, I was not planning on buying a single item of clothing from Target. I went in to get friggin' toothpaste. And I came out with the most clothes I think I've ever purchased in one go around from Target. I have two massive bags here that are very heavy and I'm getting an arm workout right now. Fall is my favorite season. I find that fall clothing is also just for the easiest for me to style and like feel comfortable and feel like myself. Summer clothes are not my jam. I'm all about fall sweaters, leather jackets, boots, jeans, that kind of thing. And Target right now is friggin' killing it with their fall clothes. I actually went in first thing in the morning and there was like no one there and it was just so nice to just go to town and dig through this stuff and find some really good pieces that I'm excited to show you guys. So I did try on every single one of these items so you guys can see and I also kind of styled them how I would wear them. I actually had to try this on yesterday first thing in the morning while I had some good morning sun in that corner so so I'm gonna try and remember the order that I went trying these on. But if you're excited for this video and you want more fall videos or more fashion videos, let me know down below and also you can give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you're new here, you can join the Bayredo family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. So here we go. We're starting off with a very fall pumpkin-y kind of color here. And I'm not usually drawn to tight tank tops at all. I like never really wear super tight tank tops, but I loved the color of this one. This was only $8 and it is super soft just the material of it feels really nice and I like that it wasn't super low cut. And this one has a nice high neckline but it still is a scoop neck and if I can find those jeans I'll link them down below too but those are just from American Eagle. The color of this just sold me and it was only eight bucks and it is very nice material. Then the next thing is the sweater that I'm wearing it with and I'm friggin obsessed with this. I actually don't own a sweater this color and my big thing with sweaters is that they just can't be scratchy. I'm like not about the scratchy sweater life. I just won't wear it. I find myself never reaching for my sweaters that aren't super comfy. And this is just a drapey one. This is in size extra small. It was $24.99, so a little bit pricier, but it is a sweater that you can wear with a bunch of different things. It has a nice weight to it, which I like, and it also has pockets on the side, which I thought were really cute. Overall, just nice material in the cream color. I think I'll just get a lot of use out of. And then I'm trying to remember, but I'm pretty sure when I was trying this on, I was wearing it with this purse. This I just like picked up as I was walking to check out. I definitely don't have anything this color and I just love the gold circle detailing on this purse. It has it on both sides. I'm not really a bag person. I have one black bag that I'm pretty sure you guys saw in my what's in a bag video. That's a bag that I carry pretty much every day but if I'm wanting something like if I'm going out to dinner or if I'm going somewhere I don't usually bring that big bag. I'll bring like a smaller crossbody bag. So that's what I would use a bag like this for. This is from the Universal Threads brand and it's $24.99. And Universal Threads is one of Target's new brands that they're carrying and they have so much good stuff. I actually got a pair of jeans, which you guys will see from that brand too. I'm pretty sure that one was Universal Threads. They're just coming out with such good stuff. So if you haven't checked out the Universal Threads stuff yet, you might wanna go do that. My only concern with this purse is that I'm worried that this gold is gonna like turn color since it's obviously not gold plated, I'm assuming, especially in Seattle with like all of the rain and weather and stuff. I don't know how this is going to do, like how long it's going to last, but hopefully I can get one fall season out of it at least. So there are two things in here that I actually picked up on a different Target trip and I picked it up when I, I think I showed it in a vlog, but I wanted to still show it in this video since it is still available at Target. It's basically like a button up little crop top but it's short sleeve and I feel like this can still be wearable in the fall. I got the size extra small and it was $19.99. This pair of jeans kind of shocked me so I didn't try any of this on in store. I just was throwing stuff in my cart. I picked up a pair of jeans and these are by the Universal Thread brand. The only reason why I picked these up is because I saw Samantha Sherman. She did a Target haul and Universal Thread jeans looked so freaking cute on her. I'll leave Sam's video linked down below too but every pair of jeans that she's recommended somehow like works on my body too. So that's why I wanted to try these out. Size zero short. And these are the curvy skinny jeans. So overall, I think I like the way that these fit. There is a weird thing on the back of them that I'll get to, but I love how they kind of dip right here. So it's just flattering around the hips the way that these fit me. And they're really nice and thick, but still soft and stretchy. They do have some stretch to them. The only thing I don't like, wait, I'm actually really confused. So in this light, I don't see it at all. A little bit, you can see that it's like lighter in the butt area right here, in the upper thighs, and then it gets dark. But I feel like when they're on my body, I don't know if it's the shadow or what, but it almost looks like there's a line where it's like light and then dark all of a sudden. 
Let me know what you guys think of these jeans on. Should I keep them? Should I return them? They were still long, even though these are the shorts and I'm 4'11 for reference, so I am very short, but these were supposed to be like the short ones. These were $24.99, which is a really good price for jeans. And again, the quality just, it feels really nice. This just super basic white t-shirt, nothing super exciting here. I just always go through these. They just like get stained or whatever. And this was again by the Universal Thread brand. I got a size small and it was only eight bucks. So I just figured, can never have enough basic tees and that's pretty much my wardrobe in the fall is like basic t-shirts cute jeans cute boots and like a leather jacket or some kind of jacket all right so next up this bad boy i think this is the thing that i'm probably most excited about i have probably four black leather jackets but they all fit a little bit different you can never have too many black leather jackets you know what i'm saying I think I just need to get rid of and part with a couple of mine because I've had some of mine for like years at this point. I think my H&M one is actually probably like eight years old. This leather jacket just shocked me. The quality of this and just the way it looks, it does not look like a cheapy leather jacket. The thickness of the leather, just everything about this looks like it's a nicer, like high-end leather jacket. So I got an extra small and this was $35. And I love the weight that this has. Like you feel like you're wearing a really nice, thick, good weighted leather jacket. This shirt was gonna be one that was either really hit or miss when I tried it on, because sometimes these can just make you look totally boxy, but I love the way that this one fits. This was a size medium I got, and it was 10 bucks, and it's the Wild Fable brand, and that's what the jacket was too. And this is another one of their new brands, and it's supposed to be kind of more like, I think 90s, they have a lot of plaid going on. And this is just a very cute, unique, flattering, kind of like low turtleneck, but then it has the cute, I don't know what you call these sleeves, but whatever they are, they're flattering on my arms. And I think this would look really cute. I didn't have the necklaces on at that point, but I think it would look really cute like this, where you have the turtleneck on, but then you put, oh, look how cute that would look. And I'll have these necklaces linked down below, by the way, both of them. Also, the material feels super soft. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. This, I feel like I'll just get tons of use out of for fall. You can layer this with pretty much anything. I also think this would look really cute with the cream sweater. And I just can picture this with like 5 million outfits. All right, so I think this is when I switched over to the white jeans. So. The white jeans I have on are not from Target, but these are also new, so I wanted to show you guys. They're from American, no, they're from Abercrombie & Fitch. I'm wearing the size 25 short for reference, but the shirt that I'm wearing it with is another fall color pumpkin-y kind of shirt. And this is just a basic, short sleeve tee, it has a pocket, but the cool thing about this that I liked is that it twists up in the front right there, right in the center, which I think is kind of flattering. You just gotta make sure, I guess, that you're not wearing it with like some camel toe-y kind of jeans. This one was Universal Thread again, and I got the size small and it was $14.99. Next up is one that I originally, honestly, was planning on just getting for filming. I always look for just good basic black t-shirts and stuff for filming since you only see here up. But I actually really like this one and I think I would wear it with like white jeans or other jeans, but this was only three bucks. It's a size small and it's the White Fable brand. And I love the just square neckline right here. I think that's so flattering and it just looks very 90s. The material feels nice for being only three bucks. It doesn't feel like too thin for three bucks good find. And this was the other shirt that I got on my last Target trip that you guys saw in the vlog. But this was the Wild Fable brand. It's a size extra small and it was 23 bucks. But this, I could not pass up. I love a good plaid print. I love black and white. And just the fit of this, it has these really loose flowy arms, which were fun. Really like the black buttons on it and just the fit and everything. It just looks really flattering. And then it has the little tie. It's nice and lightweight, so it's not too hot. You could layer this. All right, so I think we're coming up on the last couple things here. I actually didn't show you guys these ones because I can't get these over my butt, but these are yoga pants by the Urban Fit brand. They felt really nice. They said compression leggings. Oh no, these are Champion. Just says Urban Fit by Champion. These were, whoa, these were 40 bucks? I don't think I knew that. I don't think I would have bought these for 40 bucks. Target leggings for $40, I'm confused. There's not a whole lot of stretch to these whatsoever. So definitely size up. I would say probably two sizes in these, honestly. These I really liked because I could just slip my phone in the side here. The other thing I got, I tried on just with the white jeans because that's what I had on, but this is actually a workout top. And this was really cute. I liked the fit of this. I feel like I don't really have a workout top quite like this, but it has this almost like boat neck. Okay, what's happening here? It has almost this like boat neck neckline to it, black and white stripe. They had a couple different colors in this one too. And then the back, it's like an open slouchy back and it has that strap across the back. And this one was 14.99. 
size extra small. So this last thing actually isn't from Target, but I wanted to show you guys because it is so freaking cute. And it's from my friend's boutique, Ruby Lane. I'll link it down below, but this is just like one of those fall sweaters, you know? It actually doesn't have the fuzzy thing on the inside, so it's not super hot, but it still gives you that look. So that's all of the clothes I got. Here's what I went in for. Hmm, yeah. I get so many questions about how I whiten my teeth and I have a whole video on it. It's, I still do the same thing. It's the Pamper Products video. I talk all about teeth whitening, what toothpaste I use, what mouthwash I use, and I switch off between Colgate Optic White and Crest 3D White, especially the Express White version, which I don't think they had, so I just got the value two pack of the regular, but the Express White version works amazing. So I'm gonna link that video down below since I still get asked about it every single day. And then last super exciting thing I got were just razors. I haven't tried the Target brand razors yet, but these ones were just cheaper than Venus and they looked like the same. I am gonna be trying to use an ablator that I actually ordered online from Target. So so that will be coming in another video, but I think I'm in my time I'm actually gonna try that out tonight. I think my hair is long enough. I'm a little scared. So I don't know how much shaving I'll have to do. Hopefully not a whole lot after that, but we'll find out. Bags are empty. That was everything that I picked up from Target. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give this a thumbs up. I'm gonna have everything I talked about linked down below in order. I'll also link the white jeans and the American Eagle jeans I was wearing. The boots, my brown ones, and what other shoes was I wearing? Little black slides. Both of those were from Nordstrom Rack uh, a while ago. If I can find the name brand, I'll put them down below in the description box too. But the lipstick I'm wearing right now is by ColourPop. It's the shade Know It All. Eyelashes are Pure Cosmetics Diva Lashes. The rest of my makeup uh, has been an experience today. I'm actually filming a Foundation Friday today, which you guys will see this week, and it's been a total shit show. I had to redo my makeup, so you guys will see the makeup details coming in that video. It's been a morning. <laughs> but I love you guys. Happy fall. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.